Hello and welcome to the channel, it's Irad and in this video we are going to talk about the much anticipated cargo related missions that are coming along with Star Citizen Nova 3.24 and thanks to the latest episode of Inside Star Citizen as well as some clarification on Spectrum we've had some really interesting details about what is going to come to us very soon. But before we move on guys let's talk about this month giveaway, I'm giving away an ironclad from Dragon Templatory with LTI, all you have to do is just uh, talk about the topic in the, the comment section or you can join our video sharing contest for free on discord or you can be a patron and youtube member which gets you automatic entry if you enter your name on discord or you can also join our gleam contest for more entries anyway so in addition to cargo delivery missions that we are going to talk about later in this video we are also going to have a brand new dynamic event which is inspired by one that we previously had which was called the nine tails lockdown and this event is called blockade runner and it looks like here the developers really have tried their best to incorporate most of the upcoming new gameplay that star citizen is going to have in the immediate future but also further on the line to understand how future gameplay is going to have a crucial role in this event, we must, of course, have a clear idea of what we are going to be doing when we will be able to take power of it. First, we will obviously have to use the persistent hangars from which we will have to call our ships. And because this will be an event that will be best played with groups, calling in multiple ships one by one will be much easier than it currently is right now. Right now, you have to call a ship from the Azop terminal, then go to its hangar, go inside the ship, open the hangar from its cockpit here, and leave the pilot seat, let the pilot take the helm and make sure that they go far enough from the station to then call another ship and repeat the process. So that's super annoying, it's clunky, it's unintuitive, and it wastes everyone time. This should finally go away. With Star Citizen 3.24, we will be able to call our ships from our instance hangars, still one by one, but we will be able to open the hangar door and let them go much more easily, then call the next one and the next one and so on. A lot of time should be saved in the process. But then of course, we'll have to go out there and recuperate some stolen cargo taken from the space stations by some pirates. The cargo in question is Zeta Prolonite, which, according to what we've learned from the Xenothread Dynamic event, degrades over time. The cargo will have, as I said, been taken by hostile forces, and there will be two ways to recuperate it. The easiest one will be to blow up the enemy ships and then recuperate whatever would be left at the cost of losing a significant chunk of the shipment in the process. The other way would be to disable these ships using distortion weapons. Then we would have to board these ships and transfer the cargo to our ships and then return them to the stations. However, these stations would still be under blockade, so we would have to force our way in some way or another. In the future, this will also involve engineering gameplay to ensure the survivability of our ships because we can assume that resistance will be strong and that the enemy will target our cargo ships in priority. Speaking of the enemy, we've also learned on Spectrum that players will have the opportunity to join the pirate faction, just like in the old Ninetales Lockdown Dynamic event. This is excellent news because it will make the opposition even more challenging and will give players who enjoy PvP gameplay a purpose. Of course, players who just enjoy cargo hauling will be disappointed that even more risk will be added to the event, but personally, I think it's a great move by Cloudy Pure Games because it will force all kinds of players to play hand in hand in order to fulfill a common objective. Finally, the mission will be finished when enough cargo will be retrieved. All of that will be done via the hangar's freight elevators, which will be put to good use. And also let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this upcoming dynamic event. As far as I'm concerned, I'm very excited about it. And I think that a lot of people in the community will be able to enjoy it and perhaps play with people that they would not normally play with. After that, we had further details about the upcoming cargo missions. Not much that we already didn't know, mostly confirmation that these cargo missions will be similar to our current box missions, but on steroids. They will have their own tab in the Moby Glass, which will be the hauling tab. Some missions will be from point A to point B, and there will be multiple delivery missions too. 
It seems we are going to have missions from all kinds of possible locations in the verse, from space stations to outposts, and of course, from and to the new distribution centers. These missions are going to be amazing for anyone who enjoys shipping containers in the verse without necessarily taking risks, but also for pirates who will be able to take cargo from people transporting goods from A to Z. So, that's pretty much what we learned from the last episode of Inside Star Citizen. I think that the following Star Citizen Live will be very interesting because the developers should be showcasing some of the new cargo missions, so we should be able to learn a little bit more about these, and if we do, I will be reporting on these on the channel, so make sure to subscribe to be notified when this video comes out. Thank you so much for watching, let's not forget to thank our channel members and Patreon members, including Dr. Forbin, Zero Crusher, Deborah, Fidel, and Ducky to Ducker, as well as Shadow Rise. I have been Iran, I'll see you guys in the next Next one. Your peers better be ready than sorry.